Hello, and today I'll be showing you how to make a traffic light prop pack that works with the traffic light replacer mod. First, I need some existing traffic light props to work with. In my case, I have the props I need already prepared, but if you don't already have props and want to learn more about how to make some, view the video in the card above to learn more. So I'll first zoom into an area here in this test city I made. Before starting, make sure that traffic light replacers Pack Creation Helper is visible. To do that, go to the global mod settings of the game and under Traffic Light Replacer, check to see if it's enabled. Next, click on the Traffic Light Replacer icon on the bottom toolboy here to open the mod. I'll start off by going to the Pack Creator Helper down here and clicking Generate Pack XMLs, which exports two files, one for each type of pack the mod supports. I'll click on this folder icon here to view the export location. The two files export here are the templates for the one size and multi size types. The one size type is mostly meant for limited traffic light packs that replace vanilla traffic light props one to one. Meanwhile, the multi size type is for packs that have traffic lights for different road sizes and that have several variations per road size. An example of a one size pack include these American Bloody Penguin traffic lights or these Dutch traffic lights where each prop corresponds to one prop of the vanilla traffic lights and for multi-size example is the USRP pack multi-size packs can take full advantage of the mod's features such as where it can configure different lights for different road sizes while most of the time you'd want to use the multi-size pack type one disadvantage of it is that they do not support replacing mirrored traffic lights. And you can see this here, for example, in the USRP signals, where in the vanilla game, there'll be a prop here, but with multi-size packs, such as this one, there is none here. So if you need that feature currently, only the one size pack type is supported. This might change in the future. So if something changes, I'll post an update below. I'll demonstrate how to configure both pack types so I'll first make a one size configuration. So I'll first go to find it and search for the pre-made props I've made. I'll open up the template and text editor such as Notepad++. So I'll select this prop here first, which represents the standard right hand signal. And in the creator helper, I'll press update to grab the current prop prefab name and then copy. I'll then paste it here in the first asset group in the XML with the prop type of main. Then I'll select this prop that represents the standard left hand mirrored signal and do the same thing and paste it here. Then I'll do it for the other two pedestrian and signal pole. And signal pole represents the compact vertical signal. Then I'll rename the displayed pack name then save the file and back in game. Make sure the load TLR folder option is enabled. And if I refresh the packs, the configuration should show up. In my case, the rotation seems to be off. So I'll go to transform settings and drag the angle slider while holding the alt key to snap to negative 90 degrees. That fixes it. So I'll change the angle value here in the XML also to negative 90. So it loads this value on default I'll then just go and reload the pack to confirm that it all works and it does. Next, I'll make a multi-size configuration. So I'll first open the multi-size template file. I want to assign this signal to small size road. So I'll press update then copy. Then I'll paste it in this field here in the XML. So next I'll fill in the name and description fields. Asset groups of small, medium, and large are configurable via dropdowns in the mod. For example, in this multi-size pack, the name field here is the name and the tooltip is the description. So I'll fill those in. And next, I'll assign this prop here to go on medium size rows. So I'll do the same thing. And for props, small, medium, large, in general, I can assign multiple entries to them. So I'll, for example, assign this traffic light, which is also medium size to medium two. 
Finally, I'll assign this large size traffic light to large and then the compact vertical signal to signal pole. I'll also rename the pack name and refresh the pack. In my case, again, the rotation needs to be adjusted to negative 90 degrees. I'll next check to see if every size applies correctly. Small and medium lights seem to work, but I'll also just see if the large one works by placing a road down such as a highway. And it does seem to work, and placing on the opposite side of the stop line works too. Additionally, a customized light section also shows up, and the medium lights drop down has two options. Before I forget, I'll also apply this rotation offset in the XML as well. Once you're finished with your prop pack and happy with how the configuration looks, the next step is to publish it. If your props are already published on the workshop, you don't have to do this step, but these example props aren't, so I'll first publish one of the props to get a Steam Workshop ID by clicking Share and then Publish. Quit the game, and then in Steam, go to the item, set it to hidden, and subscribe to it. Next, relaunch the game and find the published item and click Update. Then open the Asset Staging folder and I'll copy the rest of the props over. Next, I want to copy over the Traffic Light Replacer configuration file, so I'll go to the TLR Local folder. And since the mod only supports one configuration file per pack, I'll use the multi size file, so I'll just copy it and rename it. And I'll rename that file to tlrconfig.xml. Next, since in my case I set the XML up with non published props, I need to update the prefab names. I could change each prop name manually, but instead I'll use a trick to replace it all at once in Note++ by doing a find replace action with a regular expression. So in Note++, I'll open the search panel of Control F and go to the replace tab. Make sure the search mode at the bottom of the window is set to regular expression. Then I'll paste this expression here in the find field. I'll also put this expression in the description of the video so it's easy to copy and paste. And if you click on next, it should select the first part of the prop name. I'll then go back to the Steam and copy the workshop ID of the pack listing and then paste it in the replace with field. Then press replace all and the prop name should be updated. Finally, we can press update. And the process is done. Then I'll check if the pack works. To avoid confusion, I'll also just move the local asset files and the XML files to another folder. And then relaunch the game. In game, I'll uncheck the load TLR local folder checkbox. And if we did everything right, the pack we made should show up in the list and it should work. So that's how you can make a traffic light pack for the traffic light replacer mod in City Skylines. Additionally, if you want more information about all the options available in the XML file and other more detailed information about how the mod works, check out the documentation site for this mod in the link below. Also, if you want to see other videos I made about this mod, check out the playlist above. Thanks for watching.